Okay, today we're talking about the Nullish Coalescing Operator. This is a new logical operator that's available in JavaScript. It's available in uh, most of the browsers in the very recent past. So right now it's June of 2020. Um, and in the last month or so, we've had uh, most of the browsers add support for this. It's not available in Node yet. If you check the website node.green, and if you search for the Nullish Coalescing Operator, right here, you will see that uh, it is not supported even as of version 14.0. So we don't have support in Node yet, but it should be coming in the near future. So let's take a look at what it is and how we can use it. All right, I'm sure you're familiar with a ternary operator where we can say I've got some value that I want to uh, evaluate, and we can say some variable, it's got the value of null, and what happens with the ternary operator is one question mark. If this is a falsy thing, we're going to get the value over here. If it's true, we get this. So the answer is going to be yes, or the answer is going to be no. So here, because this is falsy, we're going to get the answer no coming back. If this was some truthy value, we're going to get this as the result that comes back. So that's the ternary operator. This is similar to it, but handles a specific case. It is when you want to check if something is null or undefined. So it has to be one of these two things. Not just a falsy value, but specifically null or undefined. Undefined variables that have been declared but have not been given a value yet, or something in the DOM that doesn't exist. So the DOM is there, and you're searching the DOM for a specific element, but you don't find it. Um, null, this is an intentional empty value. So you've got a variable, you've declared it, and then you're saying, what I have inside of here is nothing, nothing at all. It's empty completely. That is null. So if it's null or undefined, that's what we're searching for with the nullish coalescing operator. So let's do this again. We'll say, I don't know why I used var there, but uh, <laughs> haven't used var in a long time. With the result, we're looking at some value. If this thing is null, then we're going to get this result. And that's it. That's the whole thing. If this thing is null or undefined, we get this. Otherwise, we get the null or undefined that was originally passed in. So how do we use this? What's a practical example? So we get All right, let's take an example where um, I'm going to be calling a function and it needs to do something with a value that is set someplace else. And if the value exists, great, I'm going to use that value, but if it doesn't, I need to call another function to create it. So I'm going to use an example with just a random number. So let's say our current value is going to be a global variable. Inside of here also, we're going to have our function that we're going to call, and we're going to use our nullish coalescing operator here to say that our resulting value is going to be current or if current is null or it's undefined meaning in this case if it's never been set if the value of this has never been added then we're gonna call our function to actually get a number for us and then we'll console log our result out now the first time this gets called here, we're calling this function current. It has not been defined yet, so we have not assigned a value to it. Therefore, this is going to be undefined, and it's going to call this function. All right, so we're setting the value of current here when we call this function. That is going to allow us to have the value of current the next time this runs. Let's say we only want to set the value of this one time, but for whatever reason, it wasn't set until something else in our code happens. Once it's set though, we don't want to change it. So we're going to call our function here 
It's going to do this. Jump to the browser. There's 90. So that's the value. And you can see each time we run it, we are getting a value coming back. Now, just to demonstrate that this is working properly, I'm going to call get num here before I'm calling my function f, and we'll console log what current is. And we can call it a few times. There we go. So undefined, that is the value. This is undefined at this point. We call this function, we ask for it again. 65 is the answer that we're getting back. After that, we call this function f three times. It is giving us that same value again and again and again. So that's just one possible use for this thing. The key to the whole thing is that we are looking for these two values specifically. We're not just checking like we would with a ternary operator. Is this thing truthy or falsy? We are, or sorry, up here with the, the ternary operator. This is looking for truthy or falsy. We are, with the nullish coalescing operator, looking specifically for null or undefined. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Hope that uh, helps you out at some point where you're looking for a quick way to, uh, to do this. Bear in mind that it is a fairly new feature. Um, browser support is fairly decent right now, but if you are looking at something that has to support browsers going back a year, two years, four years, um, I wouldn't recommend doing this without using something like Babel to transpile it to older versions of ES5. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I'll answer as many as I have time for. And as always, thanks for watching.